What's up, YouTube? What's up, Raider Nation? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid 24 here, and I got a good video for you today. Uh, sit down, relax, and um, enjoy this one. I got some news for you. So, the Raiders finally hired our defensive coordinator and our defensive line coach, filling in the last two holes for our coaching staff. We hired Ken Norton Jr. as our new defensive coordinator. He was a former linebackers coach for the Seattle Seahawks, uh, been coached there for two to three years. Also has other coaching experience with the uh, USC, uh, coaching guys like Ray Montaluga, uh, Clay Matthews, Brian Cushing, good linebackers in the NFL, great linebackers actually, pro bowlers in the NFL now. So, uh, and he also coached guys like Bobby Wagner, Bruce Irving for the Seahawks. So this is really exciting. Uh, I'm actually surprised uh, with the positive feedback that we're getting for this hire, saying it's a great hire. Um, they're saying that he's really passionate, great coach, always in your face, really loud, and that's what we need. And if this guy's going to impl uh, implement discipline on this defense, make them tough again, um, it's great. Uh, that's what the Raiders need is uh, defensive, tough-minded. We need to get back to the old Raiders, right? Uh, the old Raiders is that nitty-gritty, tough team that's going to knock you. Everyone's scared to play because we're dirty, apparently. And if... Um, Ken Norton can bring that to the Raiders, help out develop Mac since he's got some history in linebackers, uh, even seal more. That'd be great. And I, I like this hire. Again, not the coaching staff we anticipated, we hoped for, we dreamed of. Um, but, like I say, trust in Jack Del Rio. Let's just ha to let him take the driver's seat, hope for the best. Uh, Got to trust his coaching staff and what he's going to do. We also hired Jethro Franklin. Don't know too much about him, but excuse me, that he's going to be the defensive line coach, came from the University of Miami. So that's your news for the day, guys. The coaching staff is fine and complete. We got it all lined up in place, which is great. Real quick, I'm going to touch on some reports about Nadonim and Sue. I'll make this real quick. Uh, Sue uh, reportedly wants to play for the Seattle Seahawks, but uh, also wants to be in the West Coast. So he'll weigh his options, apparently. And the Raiders, of course, have the most money in ca or most cap space in the West Coast, a team above us is the Jacksonville Jaguars. They have some more money than us, but they're on the East Coast. So if that rules out them, that's great. Uh, you know, this is all depending if the Lions don't franchise him, which I don't think so. And if they do, that would be really weird. Um, they're saying we can outbid him and look for the Raiders to be the number one contender. That's if Reggie wants to make this, uh, make this splash in free agency and go and get Sue. I want Sue. I'd love to have Sue. I think he's born to be a Raider. He fits the Raider mystique. The tough nitty gritty. He's gonna make our defense tough and mean again. Uh, that's what I feel like he can do. And I'll be excited if we can get it. I don't think the Seahawks will get him. They gotta re-sign Russell Wilson, extend his contract. They're trying to already extend Marshawn Lynch's contract. Uh, so that right there alone, I don't see it happening with the money they already don't have. So that's my take on that. I'm gonna touch on the Super Bowl real quick. Speaking of Lynch. Why would you want to stay with the Seahawks? I'd be so pissed. I, and this is my opinion. This is if I was Lynch. I wouldn't re-sign with the Seahawks. I would go to my hometown, who I shout out all the time, and finish my career there. Um, you have the ball on the one-yard line, and you blow it. You don't give me the ball. I can't run it in. and We lose the game. And that's what pretty much Lynch went to the back to the sideline, smiling at Pete Carell. I don't blame him. Uh, he he went to those meeting he went to those media meetings so he doesn't get fined and there you are you know give, that had nothing to do with it but simply the the Seahawks blew it they gave the Patriots the Super Bowl give credit to Butler for making the great play uh, cutting the slant route I guess Pete Carroll thought this was mad and you can get away with an easy slant route but not all the time does it work um, uh, also, the Patriots did have the two, those two touchdowns, took advantage of the banged-up Seattle defense of the three stars who were all pretty much hurt and still playing the like Troopers. Um, and they took advantage, got the two touchdowns, made that little comeback. But this is it was all lined up for Seattle. This had Seattle written all over it before the game. It had a, The miracle was lined up with the catch, and they blew it. They blew it. It was one yard, one play. Should have been champions, but Butler stole it from them. And the Patriots are champions. Fuck them. and don't give them any credit for it. Crap. They're a cheating franchise. Anyways, that's enough of this stupid Super Bowl. We'll be in there for 50 in the Bay Area. Why not? Anyways, the rally last Saturday was great. Shout out to Johnny Ace and uh, Tyrone Butterfield for always putting together a great 
rally and another one coming up will announce in my next video for those of you who are interested um, it was a great event I feel like our rallies haven't been to full potential though uh, it seems like the first one with Roger Dell making that statement kind of killed our number and then last Saturday uh, there was Dodger Fest their fan fest their little rally per se uh, not little it was, it was big no discredit I'm a Dodger fan as well I'm pretty sure there was a lot of Raider fans that were going to come to the rally but instead went to the Dodger Fest uh, which is understandable, uh, so I, I I believe that hurt our numbers too. But it was still a great turnout. There was so many people there. We marched from the Rose Garden to the uh, in front of the Coliseum. It was dope. It was fun. Uh, can't wait to do it again. And this, I'm gonna touch on this. I wasn't gonna. I told myself I wasn't gonna talk about this whole Oakland LA thing anymore. But something really pissed me off, and I I feel like I really gotta touch on it. Uh, shout out to Raider John. Thank you for the support, uh, especially on this subject. Um, much love uh, but it brought someone brought to my attention that uh, a fan from the bay I don't know his name uh, I didn't really look into it I saw the picture and it disgusted me but someone decided to take uh, the picture of the gigantic Los Angeles Raiders banner that we had in, uh, in front of Staples and turn the black flag into the rainbow and right uh, along next to the shield right around here and whatnot Support, come support the gay parade, okay? And this is this is a Raider fan putting this on. This is Facebook, and Facebook is now home of the trolls. It seems like every time you go on Facebook, you see comments full of hate and arguments. It's really stupid, uh, but that's where everybody's at. For somebody to go and mock and disrespect the team that they root for, that they support, by putting something like that around it is disgusting it is it, it pisses me it boils it boils every all the blood in my body to this I, I'd kick this guy's ass if, if I saw him in person and I hope you watch this video you should be ashamed of yourself you shouldn't even be a Raider fan in the first place if you're going and disrespecting the fan base that you root for as well the team that you root for by putting that crap around the Raider logo around its name the mystique it's just more than this is just more than football people some people this is people's lives okay this is my life I have a passion for it and if all you do is just root for them on Sunday then you don't you're not in the caliber as some of our die, uh, you know diehard loyal fans who live this lifestyle 24/7 365 days a year but this guy for this guy to go and disrespect the team disrespect the logo and put a gay flag around it and called the gay parade because of what some city beef get out of here man you ought to get your ass kicked and don't even call yourself a fan you're you run you root for the team because of the location you're not a fan okay like me and John said uh, or John said and I've said before we're not Niner fans we don't punch each other in the bathroom stalls and what you people do on Facebook and troll each other and mock each other and cuss each other out and threaten each other is ridiculous it's childish grow the fuck up this dude oh it pisses me off how could you disrespect how could you how could you do that and then and people who supported that if you liked that picture or thought it was funny look at yourself in the mirror you're just one of the you're you're the same prick as him. En enough of the rant. It's pissing me off. But pretty much all I gotta say is about it is uh, if you're dissing, if you end up dissing the same fan base that you're a part of, you're an idiot. Uh, you're retarded. I know there's some retarded Raider fans out there that you know still believe Terrell Pryor should be our quarterback. Uh, Ricky Bobby's out there. Uh, but you know what? Uh, when you disrespect the franchise, the logo because of some city beef or something you don't like it's ridiculous and I'm not trying to diss anybody here but if you Bay Area people that keep dissing everybody or displaying this and don't get me wrong LA fans they're retarded too they like to come out and talk a lot of shit as well I don't vouch for them at all whatsoever if you're so confident the Raiders are gonna stay in Oakland then why do you talk so much crap why you seem so worried why do you have to comment on every little thing that says Los Angeles say Oakland is home why do you, why do you why do you have to do it? If you're so confident, why say anything? Right? Am I right or wrong? If you're so confident that they're gonna stay, why open your mouth? Us, like everyone at that rally that agree with me, 
If you don't, then you're you're one of the other ones. L.A. is the is the next option. If Oakland doesn't have the money to fund the stadium and get the rates get the Raiders to stay there, and not join the, their share the stadium with the A's, then come to L.A. where there's money, where there's support. Simple as that. That's all I gotta say. And if the Raiders stay in Oakland, which I hope they do, I will be one to be great grateful and happy that we're getting a stadium and I soon will want to get season tickets. Chill with the B Lock crew, the infamous B Lock crew. Shout out to all them. And chill with the black hole crew and the tailgates, which I did before the last game. And be in the black hole. My dream is to be in the black hole. So for the beef to continue, this is my last time I'm talking about it unless something else pisses me off. Stop it. Grow up. You're childish. That's it. Simple as that. The Raiders are in Oakland for 2015 until something is signed on paper of where we're going to play for the rest of our lives or our lives, I guess. Then we're, we're pretty much a free agent next year as a franchise and our location. And part of me just kind of says, you know what? Good. Go to San Antonio. Shut all these people up. Have their jaw drops and make them feel stupid. But that, that's just me. That's my little rant. All right, enough of that. Raider Fest. Okay, for those of you that don't know, if you're in the area of Los Angeles, San Gabriel Valley, uh, Inland Empire, the Raider Fest is a yearly event that happens at the Collector Show. It's called Frank and Sons. It's in the city of industry. If anything, Google it. Uh, it's, um, they have a lot of cool things there. There's going to be a lot of former Raiders, a lot of Hall of Famers there. you got Tim Brown, Rich Gannon, uh, Bo Jackson, Marcus Allen. Uh, Greg Townsend, Otis McKinley. You got a lot of Raiders there. Gonna gonna be sitting there taking autographs, the pictures, everything. Um, you have to buy, of course, for autographs and all that memorabilia and all that good stuff. There's tickets. Check it out. It's tomorrow. I think it starts around 12 o'clock. Runs through about maybe three or four. I will be there. I just want to check. I just want to see the Raiders greats in person. I'm not even gonna buy anything. I'm gonna walk around. Frankenstein's is a great place. They have a lot of cool things you can buy there. So uh, if you're around the area, check it out. Go to Google, type in Frankenstein's Raider Fest. Um, Latavius Murray is going to be there. That was a new one. I think he's the only current Raider going to be there. But it's going to be dope. I can't wait to see them. So if you're if you're going, comment in the, you know comment down below. I'll see you out there. And anyways, guys, that's been my video. Uh, shout out to everybody um, for all the support and love you guys give me. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna continue to do this with uh, my heart and soul. Fuck you to those fans that uh, diss the same fan base that you root for, that you're a part of. You're an idiot. That's all i got to say about that. Uh, again, shout out Raider John. Thank you again. And, uh, guys, that's my time, and I'll see you later. Peace out, Raider Nation.